Welcome to the Southwestern Angola Union End Year Report. The Southwestern Angola Union is focused on the mission of reaching the world through reach up to God, reach in with God, reach out with God, and total member involvement. One of the largest protest marches against women violence took place in Wambo with more than 3,500 women marching on the streets of Wambo City to show support against women violence. The march began from Wambo Central SDA Church through 5th Street down to marketplaces. This group of women brought Wambo Town to a standstill as they marched towards the multi-purpose hall where the final meeting took place. The Provincial Director for Women in Wambo addressed the group. The Central Association Secretariat had a one-week training at Lusambo. The training comprised of about 320 church clerks, representatives from 635 churches of the Central Association. The Secretariat Department had training on global mission and was led by the SID Associate Secretary Pastor Silas Muabsa. The training focused on how to effectively use the Global Mission Program for advancing the Adventist Pioneer Projects. The celebration of the World's Children's Day took place on the 27th of May 2017. The program focused on dedicating the children to the Lord and also inviting them into church programs. The theme for this program was The Child Who Lost His Toy. It was based on the story of the young slave girl in Naaman's house from 2 Kings chapter 5. It was inspiring to see the children lead out in all church programs. Special prayers were held where children prayed for their parents. Kids in Discipleship The SID Children's Ministries Director, Mrs. Caroline Chola, gave training to about 100 delegates. These were children teachers from various churches of Southwestern Angola Union. Each morning, the meetings began with a devotion of Revived by His Word, followed by special prayer walk activities. The commemoration of the training was on the Sabbath at Philadelphia SDA Church, where teachers, parents and children were present. More than 5,000 youths gathered for a rally at Ombaka campsite in the beautiful province of Benguela. The Benguela governor officially opened the program that began on a Friday. The event was aimed at presenting the new philosophies in the youth department. The theme for this rally was going back to the old-time religion. The rally was held from the 12th to the 14th of May. An investiture ceremony of hundreds of youths was also conducted. The meeting ended with splendorous baptism on the Sabbath. The South Association also conducted a similar event that was held in Lubango from the 18th to the 21st of May 2017. The theme for this gathering was, I am the Sermon. More than 1,800 people attended the event, with more than 200 being invested as master guides. The Theology Faculty of Angola was honored to have Pastor Paco Mokwane, the GC Youth Associate Director of the General Conference. Pastor Paco conducted a week of prayer at the Theology Seminary in Huambo. Later on, Pastor Paco visited homes of young people that have greatly contributed to the church. He took time to pray for them and to appreciate them for their work, commitment and dedication towards church activities. Swao too was honored to have Pastor Paco as the guest of honor during the World Pathfinder Day. The World Youth Day event took place at the Osvaldo Serra van Dunen Sports Hall. Thousands of youths and leaders gathered for an inspiring program that was conducted by young people. Pastor 
Pastor Busi Kumalu, the SID Youth Director also visited Swau and held seminars for pastors, Pathfinder Club Directors and youth leaders. We were privileged to have Pastor Hobson Bonya, the SID Vice President, come to Southwestern Angola Union to conduct the first ever Planned Giving and Trust Services Seminar. It was conducted in Huambo in the University Hall. More than 2,000 people attended the first Family Life Seminar Congress in the Southwestern Angola Union. The event took place from the 8th to the 10th of September 2017 at the historic Mission Center of Bongo. The theme for the event was the family and the great conflict. Dr. Raquena, the SID Family Life Director, was the events facilitator accompanied by his wife, the SID Family Life Associate Director. The couples present were full of joy and excitement to have received the training that would help them in strengthening their relationship. The SID Health Ministries Director, Dr. Sikwa, conducted a seminar for leaders from the union, association and representatives from health institutions. The training seminar was held from the 4th to the 7th of September. Dr. Sikwa encouraged church leaders to devote more time to the Adventist health message by using it as a tool for evangelism to reach out to diverse people in line with church activities. Augustino Lundula from Ebenezer Church of the Benefica Mission District. Augustino is an example of the Total Member Involvement Initiative. This year, he decided to be a Cole Porter. Having inspiration from the LE Institute he attended, he decided to dedicate more time to work for the Lord. Through his effort and involvement between the months of March and June, six baptisms took place in Wambu Province. Augustino did not end there. Having understood Ellen G. White's words that where there is one Colporta, there should be 100, he then recruited three of his friends to join the ministry. Today, this group works at Benfica. As a result of their work in September, 26 people were baptized in the city of Wambu. We find two young missionaries in Andulo, Kalusinga. The two have dedicated themselves to improve the level of literacy in the villages of Boa Esperanza. Most people in this village are interested in reading the Bible and other church literature. However, only few of them are able to read and write. During these lessons, they teach the children the importance of prayer. Parents and people living here are very happy for the contribution and dedication of these young missionaries and the mission center. Chikuma Mission has been very supportive with this project it was a blessing to have missionaries from Brazil that came to conduct a 10-day evangelism effort. Among them were pastors, doctors and teachers. Before the meetings could commence, a book distribution exercise was held. Several baptisms took place during the week. The highlight of all activities was on Sabbath at Kahala Stadium with more than 339 people who gave their lives for baptism. Total tithe income for 2016 was 738,247,784.44 Kwanzaa as compared to the same period of 2017 that was 727,115,571.79 Kwanzaa. This gives us 98% achievement resulting in a 2% decrease. Combined offering for 2017 is 252,497,116.93 Kwanzaa, as compared to the same period in 2016, that was 218,609,046.98 Kwanzaa. Total baptisms for 2017 were 16,098. Current total membership for 2017 stands at 250,000. 114.